something incidental that just came into my mind. Yeah. Do you keep your guide when you pass? Yes, uh, yes. Your guide often remains with you after mm. you've passed, uh, depending on your condition, of course. Mm. If your condition is equal to your guide, then, of course, they're more like your friend than your guide. Yes. But if your condition is, is not as loving as your guide's condition, then your guide will continue to endeavour to, to guide you in the spirit okay. world. However, the majority of people who are Christian believe that if an angel of light comes to them, and tells them something beyond the, what they have already learned in the Bible. Mm. And in fact, there is a scripture, of course, mm. in the Bible that says this, that they should reject them. Mm. So when their guide, their angel of light comes to them and says, I'm your guide. I've been with you all of your life. I know all of your life. They say, sorry, you must be of the devil. Yeah. The Bible talk to me about people like you. I'm going to not listen to you. Get away from you, me, me, you worker of lawlessness. And they quote all these scriptures. And the poor spirit who's been looking after that person on earth all of their life um, has to walk away uh, and wait and wait until the person who's 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 passed mm. has the willingness to actually go. Oh, maybe that person was my guide. Maybe there is such a thing as guides, <laughs> even. <laughs> and maybe oh. I should ask him because mm. he's brighter than I. And remember what Jesus said about brightness: let your brightness shine. Mm. So be brighter than me. Maybe, maybe I should have listened to him and then ask him back. But sometimes I've seen that happen two hundred years after. Mm. And during that time, that person on, who, who's passed uh, feels like they've got no one to guide them. Mm. But they're rejecting their own guide. Yeah. yeah. And that's a frequent occurrence, yeah. and particularly amongst Christians, mm. because Christians are told... Because of that. ...of these Bible mm. beliefs mm. that they imbibe while they're on earth. And then when they pass, they remember them, of course. And they actually remember them more easily yeah. uh, because their mind is a lot clearer as yes. a result of the operations of the spirit body. They remember a lot of these quotations even more clearly than they did on earth. Mm. And then as a result of that, they decide to embrace that belief system, still trusting the Bible is God's word, but, but preventing them from further progression for, for a long periods of time. Mm. And it's usually only love that gets them out of that condition. When I say love, the love they have to want to connect to God if it yes. exists, or the love, and, and more often it is, the love they have of wanting to connect to others, yes. other people. Um, and that love drives them to find out some things, some, find out some more truth. And then in finding out that more truth, they realise to them and so forth. They're still available to them and so forth. But, but what they believe to be true is not true. So it's usually some kind of growth or expansion in their soul of love that causes them to have the awakening of their soul, as it were. So, uh, you know, for the majority of people who pass, and particularly for the majority of Christians who pass, if, if love hasn't, hasn't been the governing factor of their practice of religion on earth, then love won't be the governing factor of their practice of religion in the spirit world. Mm -hmm. They'll arrive in a very dark condition as a result. Mm -hmm. And then as a result of that dark condition, it will only be a series of events that occur over a long period of time generally that causes them to re realise that love hasn't been the guiding factor in their life and that causes them to open their heart to love. And once their heart is open to love, then they start engaging progression mm -hmm. in a more rapid way. The, the problem in the spirit world is gaining the awakening. And gaining the awakening is all about humility or a lack of it. Yeah. And, uh, and it's the lack of humility that causes the inability to have an awakening so, so again, as I say about the daily practices mm -hmm. that we mentioned in question two, I think it was, um, those daily practices will help us, mm. not only now, but also after we pass. Yes, of course. Uh, to, gain, to gain this awakening mm. of our soul to the extent where we're willing to conceive things that we, that we have previously believed were true, but now which our life is demonstrating to us can't have been true. Mm. Yeah. So, so my suggestion to the average person of any religious faith is when you find after you've passed that what you believed in your religious faith hasn't worked out to be true, then immediately say to yourself, all right, there's, there's things I need to learn and be humble enough to ask for help to learn. And when a brighter spirit comes to you, instead of dismissing them as an angel of the devil, <laughs> listen to them and learn from them. Yeah. <laughs> yeah.